The statement, Jesus was a Muslim, forgets the fact that he is still alive and that he isn't just human. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the eternal son. And because he is eternal, he is God. So he isn't a Muslim. He was born when he became incarnate as a human. He was born into Judaism. He was of the line of Abraham through Isaac. And he was also in the line of David in royalty as a king. He was of the line of David in that sense. But he is eternally the son of God who became flesh. He's the word of God. Allah says in the Quran, Surah 4, verse 171, that he is the word of God sent down. So it agrees with the Bible in that sense. But in the many statements in the Quran that puts words into Jesus' mouth that he would never have said, it, did, it completely disconnects and disagrees with what the Bible says. Many Muslims today contend that Jesus was a Muslim because he prostrated. But the Bible in the Gospels only records one event where he actually prostrated to the ground. And that was because he was in agony knowing he was going to die for the sins of the world which the Quran rejects as true. According to the Quran, Jesus was not crucified or killed for the sins of the world, nor did he resurrect, but Allah took him straight up into heaven. According to the Quran, somebody else replaced him on the cross and Allah created the illusion that it was Jesus so deceiving all Jews, deceiving all Jesus' disciples and followers and the apostles as well that went round spreading the word that Jesus had died by crucifixion and he had risen again. Another thing that refutes the idea that Jesus was a Muslim is that the Quran commands Muhammad to say, I am the first of the Muslims. Islam likes to make the claim that Islam traces all the way back to Adam and Abraham and all the prophets before, but actually contradicts those prophets, contradicts all the words of the prophets that we have in the Bible, all that looked to the Messiah and the suffering servant who would die for the sins of the world and rise again. So we know that the Quran is a complete contradiction of the Bible that it claims to affirm. And I want you as Muslims to think about this. There is no way that Jesus could be a Muslim. Muhammad is commanded to be the first of the Muslims. So if that is true, then Jesus and all the prophets before him couldn't have been the Muslims. History shows that there is, there is no record of anyone before Muhammad of any Muslims anywhere, no acknowledgement even of Mecca until he came. No civilization had heard of Mecca and it's supposed to be the oldest city on earth. There's no record historically that Abraham built the Kaaba, emptied it of its idols or anything like that. There's no evidence. We don't have any maps until 900 AD that show a Mecca on there. No civilization from ancient Egypt right until the time of Muhammad that the place even existed. And why is that? It's because that Mecca was in a desert place. So there's no water, there's no vegetation, 
and because there's no water or vegetation, there's no people living there and no cities or towns or civilization. And where there is no civilization, there's no history. And which is why that Mecca is now being built up, loads of buildings around and surrounding the Kaaba that is there now, which was even in Muhammad's time, a pagan idol surrounded by other pagan idols that the Arabians used to worship until Muhammad kissed the black stone and included it in his religion, Islam. I want you to take notice of this and do some research yourself. Look in the Quran and look in the Bible, in the Gospels, and you'll see that there's nowhere or any evidence that Jesus was a Muslim because Jesus is the eternal Son of God which makes him equal to the Father as he constantly claimed he was and is because he died by crucifixion for the sins of the world including yours and including mine and he rose again because death could have no hold on him and he is on on the throne with his father in eternity, ready to return. And even the Quran acknowledges some of these things. So Muslims, read your sources, but also read the Gospels, find out about the real Jesus, that he's not just a man who arrived 2,000 years ago, was born as a baby through the Virgin Mary, but he is eternally the son eternally the word who became incarnate to save us from sins. Islam and Muhammad had no grasp of salvation and offered no salvation to anyone. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.